Alright y'all, what's going on out there? Um, this is another session uh, with my client Scott. Um, basically on this particular session we're going to be going over polynomials, uh, continuation. Polynomials is actually a huge topic in Algebra 2 and in Pre-Calculus. So um, I'm going over this quite a few examples. Today we're going to go over finding a polynomial. Um, without the A in the front but with everything else known and we have to actually find the A so we can get the actual whole polynomial that we're looking for. I will also be going over uh, complex number polynomials so we're going to be using complex imaginary quote unquote numbers in the polynomial setups to find um, the synthetic division answer that we need. Um, quadratic expression irreducible over the reals and upper and lower bounds hopefully we can get all that out um, today but I'm only gonna probably do maybe two videos or whatnot so let's get a crack it on that and go from there so let's look at the uh, following polynomial P of X so I'm gonna find oh I need to get you some some paper By the way, I'm gonna give you some of that when we leave. Mm -hmm. That's my other, my other stuff. All right. All right. So, find the polynomial p of x um, of degree four with zeros. With zeros i negative i two and negative two with p of three equaling twenty five. That's my problem. Final polynomial of degree four with zeros i negative i two and negative two with p of three equals twenty five. And I'll try and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can actually kind of see that and I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see the top of the board. Alright, so basically how we're going to do this problem is, well you're probably asking me a question like, okay, um, imaginary numbers, so if they're imaginary then how are we going to find it? That's okay. I got you on this problem, you don't have to worry about that. Imaginary numbers actually lie <clears throat> on a different plane. It's called an imaginary plane. So um, when you graph it, one of your axes on the Cartesian portion of a plane would be like I over here on the x-axis and J on the y-axis. That's how you actually graph complex numbers. But that's a later subject and we'll I'll touch that way later on. We're just gonna finish this problem and make it happen. So first thing we're gonna put down is P of X <coughs> equals a times x minus i, x plus i, x minus 2, and x plus 2. Now, on this portion here, I put x, technically it's really x minus a negative i, and then it's x minus a negative 2. Because you already know that a negative a negative is a a positive, right? So x minus a negative i here turns into a positive i. X minus a negative 2 right here it turns into a positive uh, 2. So with that being said, um, I now have to multiply all of these together to get a basis of my polynomial. A is left actually as the uh, leading coefficient of the front term. And that's what we're trying to find so we can get our polynomial. So when we multiply these two together, um, Scott, what do you get here? We we'll multiply these two together first. Uh, x squared. Okay. X squared. Xi. Uh, all right, plus xi or plus ix, right? Yeah, ix. Okay. And then you get uh, minus. The, yeah, negative ix. And then negative one or yeah. Minus i squared. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you're right. Negative one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, i squared equals negative one. 
but a negative and a negative is a, again a. I see. So here, this cancels out. We get x squared uh, plus one, basically, right? Mm -hmm. All right, what about here on this part? X squared. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2x. Mm -hmm. Plus 2x, right? Minus 2x. Minus 2x cancels out. Minus 4. Minus 4. Good. So now we have x squared minus 4. So this then goes to p of x equals a times x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 4. Now, at this point here, I then multiply these two together. How do I do these two right here? What do you think? So I have a times x squared plus 1 mm -hmm. times x squared minus 4. And then I want to be able to multiply these two together to get my result. Uh, what is it going to be? x to the 4. Okay, x to the 4. And then what? Uh, 4, I mean my negative 4x squared. Okay, minus 4x squared. And then? Uh, plus x squared. Plus x squared. Uh, minus 4. Minus four. Good. All right. So now I can't cancel anything out, right? But I can combine like terms. So when I combine these two right here, I'm going to then get uh, a. Or move this up a little bit here. I'm then going to get um, a times x to the fourth my, or minus three x squared minus four. All right. Does that make sense so far? Combine like terms at that point. And I get that result. My next part here is going to be, um, it says P of 3 equals 25. So I'm going to put 3 into my polynomial. P of X is really the polynomial. So P of 3 equals 25. So um, A, it will be A times, A times 3 to the 4th minus 3 times 3 squared minus 4. Okay, now as you see, all I did was plug in 3 into my original polynomial, where x is. Everywhere you see an x, you plug in a 3. Alright, now that, when you evaluate this, it's going to equal 50. So that means 50a equals 25. Now you're going to ask me, where did I get 25 from? All right, well, glad you asked because 25 actually came from the original problem statement that P of 3 equals 25. I draw this arrow, go down here, and that's where I got 25 from. All right, so just so you know that, where 25 came from. At this point, I solve for A, Scott, so what I do? Um. Divide. Divide by? Divide by um, 25. By 25? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you sure about that? Or do uh, I divide by? Divide by 50. <laughs> All right. So I divide by 50. And I get A equals 1 half. Now that's the 1 half. That's the coefficient in the beginning or the front of my problem. But I'm not done yet because i got to actually write down my polynomial. So I'm going to give you about 15 seconds or so to kind of write that down if you don't have it. Uh, once again, thoroughly, I'll explain. The original problem here was P of X equals degree 4 with zeros. I, negative I, 2 and negative 2 with P of 3 equals 25. So what I did was I said, okay, cool. If I is a 0, then that means X minus I must be my polynomial because if I solve for X, x minus i equals 0, I add i on both sides, and I get i. So just like this right here, x minus i equals 0, I add i to both sides, and I get x equals i. So I do fit my criteria in my beginning. So x minus a negative i is x plus i, x minus 2, and x plus 2. Then, as Scott did for me, we multiplied here, we foiled, if you will, the term, First outside, inside, and then last of this, these two here. So we got x squared plus ix minus ix, and we have a cancellation in the middle because we have a minus and a plus. Then minus i squared. Ne i squared equals negative 1, and a negative and a negative is a positive, so we get x squared plus 1 here. 
and we get x squared minus 4 here when we multiply these two together. <clears throat> At that point, we have a times these two here, x squared plus 1 and x squared minus 4. We then foil these two problems, or these two uh, polynomials, and we get a times a to the f x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x squared minus 4. Then, we plug in 3 from here, p of 3 equals 25, into the original polynomial. Well, I'm not the original polynomial because we have to find it, but the polynomial that we did find here. So we plug the 3 in this one. We get 50 inside the parentheses times a equals 25, which is what p of 3 equals. We substitute our values in, divide by 50, get a equals 1 half. Okay? Now I'm going to erase this side. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to erase this side right here. And I'm going to continue to finalize the problem. We then get 1 half p of x equals 1 half, which was a, x to the fourth minus 3 halves x squared minus 2. And as you see, where I got this from, I took the 1 half, which was, was a, basically. I took it, multiplied times x to the fourth minus 3 x squared minus 4. And then one, you get the 1 half here. So 1 half x to the fourth minus 3 over 2 x squared minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. So minus 2. And this, my friends, is my any polynomial that I have. Okay? Do you have any questions for me? Scott, are you good? I'm good. Alright. If you guys have any issues with that, please let me know once again. Um, those of y'all that know my number, you can call me or text me. Those of you that don't and just want to know how I, any question, how I got any of this stuff, uh, hit me on Facebook. Just uh, send me a message or something like that and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, if I don't have anything else, thank you very much once again. Um, I'll be doing another video here shortly, and um, everything is all good. So, without further ado, I'll zoom back out for a second there and do my exit. Thank you very much. Hi.